Luke. Luke. <laughs> Start the third term here. Bannockburn and Eastern Suburbs. Well, it'll be interesting to see if Bannockburn win by a goal, Eric. Will it ever? Will it ever? 9-9 nine, nine playing 7-2. We'll find a goal kicker somewhere. Peters from the middle with a first free kick. Goes to Buckingham. Takes a good mark at half forward. We'll try and drive it long for the Eagles. Right half forward. Goes short. And finds his teammate, Scott Ferguson, who's come down from the ruck. Goes to the right boot and goes into the goal square. Pack develops off hands to the front of the pack. Just shuffled through for a rush behind to Eastern Suburbs. Their first of the afternoon. The first score of the third term. They're 7-3-45. No trail at Bannockburn, 9-9, 63. Been playing a minute. And the kick-in comes from Steve Delahunt. Finds uh, Frost, but he doesn't take the mark. Now Stevenson over the back. And handballs back to Sean O'Leary. Short little kicks, OK. Finds Andy Hill at centre-half forward. Probably too far out to score, kicking into the breeze. Now Andrew Hill standing in the middle of the ground. Robbie Giles is standing uh, just outside 50 on the mark. Looking for a lead. He's got William Short. He might go... Longer now, he does. And it's a poor kick off the boot, is it? Intervong in front. Chess mark not taken. Play on the call. Broom leaves it behind. Lynch doesn't, I don't think. And I think he's put it through for the first goal of the third term. No, he hasn't. One behind. He lives in suspense, that goal umpire, doesn't he? <laughs> Dean Lynch, one behind. 7-4-46 now, the Eagles. The Tigers, 9-9-63. Have we found that extra goal kick yet, Eric? No, there's not one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite confident. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and, and, you, and you know I keep rough records and I've only got nine as well <laughs> eight well, as well I mean well Delahunt kicks in good kicking two finds Giles at half back runs towards centre wing goes towards half forward and finds Clinton Shaw plays on quickly goes towards the corridor McCormack coming back Roweth as well off hands Matty Pilgrim going to be wrapped up by Peters good wrap up held to him umpire will come in and bounce the football about 35 metres out from goal Bannockburn attacking the northern end in this third term well, I reckon the Bannockburn boys in the school box could get a free drink after the game. They might have given them a goal extra. Could do them the world of good. Ball now. Bailey tried to go off the ground from the ruck contest. Comes in again. The umpire will have to bounce it. And we'll uh, do it again about 35 metres out from Bannockburn's goal. Yes, umpire with the ball. Deep in the forward line for Bannockburn. Kicking to the northern end in this uh, third quarter. Up goes the ball. Oh, up, up high was... Uh, Andrews, the ball came down to East on the left foot. Don't tell me he's kicked the goal. That's a miraculous goal if it, it has gone through. Lincoln East on the left foot from the boundary. He's popped it through. And uh, the Lexus of Wyndham scoreboard now. Three minutes into the third quarter. 9-9. Nine, nine. 63 is uh, Bannockburn. They lead Eastern Suburbs 7-4. 46. That was an incredible goal on the left foot from the, the least... Uh, <laughs> the percentage where you wouldn't probably kick one from. Absolutely. Yeah, he, he squeezed in nicely, didn't he? And, uh, you know, maybe this is the thing we need to spark us up and get a few on the board, get it moving a bit. You want this game sparked up, Laurie, don't oh, you? I, I just feel there's a lot of m marks being dropped out there today, uncontested marks, and it's very, very shabby. I wouldn't be happy with either of these sides today. Back in the middle, Pilgrim, slick handball to Pavic, running through the middle, handball. Quickly to Connors, just inside the centre square, goes long. Oh, stands his ground, takes a good mark. Sean Rundle, Roweth against him, plays on quickly. Got O'Leary wide and Fagan, who sets him up a little bit. Coming at him, Ronnie Pilgrim. Sean O'Leary takes it at half back easily. Buckingham's at uh, centre wing by himself, but uh, takes O'Leary a bit of time to turn around. Now, where's he going to go? Half back. He's got Peters running past Ferguson. He's got Murray wide as well. He goes in that direction now, Murray. Third, second in line, off hands now. Price on the ground, breaks a tackle, gets a kick away. Oh, I think that's pretty wide though. It is, it's out of bounds on the full. Right half back will be the uh, free kick for Ashley Perkins. And he's got it now. Goes long with the right boot towards half forward. Collins, O'Keefe over their heads, all over everybody. Ronnie Pilgrim, push, free kick. Oh. Says the umpire. Is that advantage? No, oh, says the umpire. Oh. Ronnie Pilgrim says yes. Why is it not advantage? Well, the umpire, Stephen O'Keefe, is asking him, <laughs> and he doesn't know why, but it's coming back to Clinton Shaw for a push-out in the marking contest. The ball will have to come all the way back from the uh, railway line, Nelly. Ronnie had slotted it through to Laurie, hadn't he? What, what, do, you, what do you suggest we put that in and that'll square the ledger? <laughs> well, that's probably pretty right. All right, we'll give Ronnie a go, will we? He'd, he'd love that too, don't worry about that. Well, he's kicked one. Will we, will we give him two, will we? What's I mean? We, we should slide him in there. Do you want to? <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> right, eight. Ronnie's got two. That's nine. 
So Clinton Shaw's got it back between the wing and half forward on the western side of the ground. He goes now. Oh, he gets around Sheen, does well too. And goes with the right boot long towards uh, full forward. Over the back, could be a goal. Oh, just touched by Peters, was it? Yes, it was. Through for a rush behind. <laughs> you tell the grandkids about that one, he would have Clinton Shaw. Yes. Kicked it from uh, about 75 metres, but touched on the line by David Peters. The goal umpire's been smacked in the back of the head by the footballers that's come back from over the boundary line. <laughs> and now Andrew McCormack's got it. So uh, it is 9 10 64 now, Bannockburn, Eastern Suburbs, uh, 7 4 46 on the Lexa Wyndham third quarter scoreboard. McCormack from fullback goes towards uh, half back flank. Harding in front could be able to take. Oh, good mark, too. Good overhead mark up against uh, Intervong there. And Rick Harding. It's a classic, half classic case there, Laurie. The ball dropped the man in front. Yes, yes, Eric. And uh, this probably would kick would probably just about test him. I think it's a fair uh, way there. He's probably. What would you do there? Just set up in front and let the wind do the rest? Well, we'll see. He's got it now, and he comes in on the right boot. And he think, just does set it up into the 10-metre square. Big pack flies, off hands, coming through the middle. Carroll can't take it with him. Intervong's also there. Streams out. East is there also. Falls towards Darren Ralph, who has kicked the goal. His first. And the 10th for Bannockburn. They are 10-10-70. And they lead Eastern Suburbs 7 4 46. Lexa Wyndham third quarter scoreboard. We've been playing seven minutes in this third term. And opportunist goal from Darren Roweth. Yeah, that's his trademark, Darren Roweth's trademark. That he uh, just suited spill off the pack of the back of the pack, side of the pack rather, and just uh, swooped on and bobbed it through. Interesting, Laurie. The first half he was up here in the wing when he came on the ground. There, there's uh, he and uh, Sean Andrews working out of the goal square. It's an yeah. interesting ploy. Yeah, well, I think. You know, he's, as we just said, he's an opportunist, you know, when the ball hits the ground, then he, he needs to be around crumbing and, uh, uh, you know, I think he's at a best there. And, uh, you know, Ronnie Pilgrim in the middle, he's, he's uh, doing quite okay there. Umpire with the ball in the centre of the ground. Up it goes. Frost beats Fergus on this occasion. A couple of handballs finally comes to Pavic. Well, great, great smother there from the Eastern Suburbs. Pavic comes back on the ball. Carroll went through without the ball. Going one hand, punched along the ground. Here go uh, Bannockburn, playing with a bit more intensity, I think, in this third quarter. Good Harding pushes along the ground further, and they've got the ball to centre half forward now. The uh, Bannockburn side, Connors, tries to chop it off, thrown forward there by Peters, picked up by Pavic, gets the ball into. Well, that's incredible. The ball uh, is relayed down the ground, but in fact, uh, he was almost in the act of uh, kicking the ball when the uh, incident took place. But it's. Uh, a relayed free kick. It's gone again to uh, Roweth. He's uh, deep in the uh, the forward pocket for Bannockburn on the right foot. Puts it high in the air. I'll tell you what, it's not a bad looking kick at all. In fact, it's gone right through the middle over the goal line for his head. He's kicked two in a minute. Darren Roweth. And on the uh, Lexus of Wyndham scoreboard, 11 10 76 Bannockburn. They lead Eastern Suburbs 7 4 46. Is that 11 10 or 12 10 now? I'm still 11 10. <coughs> You're not going to change, are you? No, I'm not. Eric won't change. He's, I'm not. He's got the facts in front of him, haven't you, Eric? Well, wait, we'll see what the goal boys do at three quarter time, if, <laughs> if they're listening to us. Eric, I've just got to ask you a question. Last week, a guy questioned my ability to play football, having to do with football. <laughs> I just see Zane Ta uh, Carroll come onto the ground. I mean, a few weeks ago, he was a champion. Well, he was the best in the ground. Yeah. Now, oh, I don't know what's going on in this game. Frost gets it down in the middle, Intervong gets ripped off the footy, gets a handball away, though, to Delamonica. Who gets onto the left boot around towards half forward? Gad also getting across there. Delahunt doesn't take the mark. Sold the mark here. Yeah, Pilgrim in there working hard as well. Pack develops at half forward for Eastern Suburbs. Young Pine might have to come in and bounce it. No, he lets it go and it breaks away again. Intervong does well and goes on the left boot. Poor kick though in front and standing his ground. Hewitt, oh, ripped off the footy now. Handball to Gad. Sets him up. It's okay though. Good enough to get it to Broom. Then to Delahunt. Sets of hands through Pilgrim at centre half forward now. Uh, centre half back, he goes towards the centre of the ground. Up Peters, can't take the mark. Recovery was pretty good though, went left, then right. Then goes to the right boot, spots O'Leary at the corner of his eye, goes in that direction. Sean O'Leary does well. He'll make up some ground and take the grab. Stevenson gives him a lead, so he kicks it in that direction. Great kick, great sliding mark. Morris Stevenson at half forward. I don't think it'll be four kicks, four goals. No, I don't think so now. He tries to measure the pass towards the leader, Murray, and he does well. He takes a mark. Your man, Eric. Good grab. <laughs> I was pleased to see him playing today. <laughs> he only plays seniors when you come and see him, I think, Eric. <laughs> but Nathan Murray's got it. And will shoot for goal from about 30 metres out. Pretty tight angle for a right footer. He's in the right forward pocket, right in front of the Bill Keldo Pavilion here 
at Victoria Park. He comes in now. And it's pretty close. I think he might have uh, put it through for one behind. He has. Nathan Murray. So uh, one goal, one to him this afternoon. They go to 7-5-47. And the, well, the so-called scores 12-10-82 for Bannockburn. The kick in. Goes to the right back pocket for uh, Bannockburn, but it comes back to uh, Damien Williams who tries to get around Matt Pilgrim. Handball back towards Inthavong. Sets him up. Great pick up though. Then he gets ripped off the football. Lynch handball over to the, a call from Peters. He can get it back to Murray or to Della Monica. Elfie off one step. Goes long into the goal square. Pack develops. Who's off hands towards Rick Harding. Gets ripped up by Lynch and pretty close to the boundary line. It is out now. Will be a boundary throw into the right forward pocket for Eastern Suburbs. We've been playing 11 minutes in this third term. 12-10-82 playing 7-5-47. Boundary throw in. Perkins and Murray over the back. Delahunt to the front of the pack. Intervong fighting hard for it as well. And pack develops again. The umpire will come in and ball it up. Ball uh, 15 metres out directly in front of the uh, southern goal here at Victoria Park. Eastern Suburbs kicking into the breeze this uh, third quarter. Well, good body work there by uh, Perkins. Get the handball, comes back to Stevenson. Little chip to full forward and, uh, well, lux of fortune. Eastern Suburbs players uh, playing in front in the forward line and this time it was Damien Williams. He's only 15 metres out, directly in front, took the comfortable mark and uh, has a chance on goal here for the Eastern Suburbs side. Gee, Morris is killing the percentages, isn't he? Isn't Five he? Five kicks now. Williams moves in. Well, I tell you what, he's... Uh, what has he done with his spray that right across the face of the goal from uh, dead in front? Shocking miss uh, for him and for Eastern Suburbs. And 12 minutes into the third quarter, Lexus and Wyndham scoreboard. 11, 10, 76, Bannockburn, 7, 6, 48, Eastern Suburbs. Ball in from Della Hunt, finds Ron Pilgrim. Goes towards Rick Harding at half back on the point of the centre square. He takes it. Takes the grab. Now... Goes towards centre wing. Hill might be able to chop it off. He can. And takes the grab in front of Giles. Now he's got Bailey's short lateral, but he wants to go up the wing towards Delamonica, who's going to be beset. But he takes the mark and plays it on there and gets holding the ball. <coughs> Robbie Giles folded up nicely. And no talking there to Delamonica from his teammates. Set him up. Robbie Giles plays on now quickly. Has to go back, says umpire Booty. Behind his mark. And... Uh, they're not consistent with the advantage rule, are they? Which is no. rather disappointing. And he goes short this time. To Della Hunt, who's followed it up from full back. Long way down the ground. Gives it out wide to East. Goes towards O'Keefe. Can he take the mark at the se second attempt? No, he can't. He kicks off the ground. Towards uh, the corridor again. Sheehan Shaw keeps his feet. Needs some help. Connors was there. Couldn't get it out. Peters gets wrapped up. Dropping the ball, says umpire. Yes. And Roweth will take the free kick. Good tackle, Darren Roweth. And we'll shoot for goal from uh, about uh, 40 metres out. And uh, I think he likes him on the run more, Rowie. But, you know, you never know. He loves a goal. A, a kick a, two in two in a minute. Not it, a bad sort of third quarter, is it? It's an actual good move, Eric. To put him out there and do a bit of crumbing around the packs. Roweth comes in from 40. And it's pretty close. Wait for the goal umpire. He said one behind. So two goals, one to Darren Roweth this afternoon. They got a 12-11-83 Bannockburn, Eastern Suburbs 7-4-46, or if you listen to Eric, it's 11-11-77 <laughs> to 7-4-46. Well, well I, I can't justify 12 goals and 11 goal kickers. <laughs> All right, well, McCormack kicks in again, goes towards O'Leary, works his way to the front, oh, Sheen over the back, nearly takes a great grab, pushes it out only as far as Clinton Shaw, his direct opponent, kick around the corner into the pocket towards O'Keefe, can't take the mark, sits for him, no, turns around on the right boot, into the goal square, and oh. through for nothing yet, because it's not through, <laughs> off hands, Buckingham and Rundle see it through for a rush behind. And uh, Warney would have been happy with that wrong and Laurie. That was a true. <laughs> Actually, it was a good kick. It was. It, it all but went in. And uh, for the, the listeners, it hit right on the end of the football and bounced back out. So it doesn't get much closer than that. And the worst was Shane Andrews let it go. <laughs> McCormack kicks in this time to the outer side. Finds Ferguson. Good lead. Good kick. Outside defensive 50 now. Goes to the right boot towards centre wing. Sets Hill up. Up against him, uh, Della Hunt. Della Monica from behind. Kick off the ground. Back into the middle. Sheehan. Does it sit for him? Yes, it does. He's got a bit of support. One of them was Buckingham. On the uh, back end of the centre square. Goes long and wide towards Peters and Harding. Oh, is that a mark? Yes, yeah, says the umpire. is a bit slow on the whistle. But Peters has got it. Now, 
from centre wing. Oh, oh. kicks it into Harding. It was standing on the mark, if you don't mind. Harding can break away too, and it's a costly turnover, it could be. Harding goes long in front. McCormack pushed away by Andrews. Rollis there as well. Tried to slip it back. Collins on hands and knees to McCormack. Back to Sheehan. Uh, kick around the corner. Intelligent play. Got Sean Rundle on half back. And Rundle now. Goes towards centre wing. Peters Williams pretty close. I think it's out of bounds on the full. The boundary umpire was right there in the right position. It will be a penalty free kick taken for Bannockburn. It's Bannockburn with the ball. Little short chip has uh, just brought it inboard ever so slightly. And Harding has taken the mark. Still on centre wing. And uh, well now, uh, well he's chipped it again. The lead's come from Andrews. He's a long way from full forward. Tried to take it and do the left hand turn onto the left hand onto the left foot. However. Ball's taken from them by uh, McCormick of Eastern Suburbs. Oh. Well, he's put it out of bounds on the full two if the umpire's uh, on the job. Well, the players talked the boundary umpire into that one. They're all yelling out, touched, but in fact the ball was touched at least a metre over the boundary line. However, we're going to have the throw-in in front of the uh, change rooms here at uh, Bannockburn. In comes the ball once again. Ferguson, good body use, gets the ball tapped clear, but uh, Matty Pilgrim, well, he's overrun it. Picked up there by Broom. Handball to uh, Hewitt. Hewitt gets a chip across to uh, the centre once again to Young Harding. Another handball to Delahunt and away go Bannockburn into the full forward, the full forward area. And uh, Mark taken on half forward flank. Bannockburn, uh, O'Keefe it is, drives it to the full forward position. Two on one, oh, Andrews. Yeah. And in between the two mm -hmm. Eastern Suburbs players and uh, probably Laurie from a defending viewpoint, neither of the Eastern Suburbs bloke tried to punch then. No, it was probably poor defensive uh, uh, play, Eric, but also uh, got to give credit for was a good, fantastic, a fantastic grab. grab yeah. Yep. Andrew's now 20 metres, 25 metres out directly in front. There's been something said, and uh, this fellow's running his own race, I think. He's given a 50 metre penalty, and uh, well, Shane Andrews was the only bloke that didn't know. And uh, all the Eastern Suburbs boys are staring there with their hands on their hips. They don't know what's going on. But Andrews is going to kick his uh, third. No doubt about that, uh, popped us straight through. Shane Andrews, three goals. And uh, depending who you listen to, it's either 12 or 13 goals <laughs> to Bannockburn and 12 behinds. And on the Lexus Wyndham scoreboard, Eastern Suburbs 7 6 48. So uh, a good result at the end of the day there for Bannockburn uh, and a bit of positive play. I think there's just a little bit more uh, fire in it, Larry, in this third quarter. Yeah, look, I agree with you. You made a comment there before, uh, Eric. Uh, Bannockburn's intensity towards the ball seems to have lifted in this quarter. And uh, yeah, well, it had to as well. And uh, um, they just seem to be making a few opportunities for themselves, going hard, pushing out to uh, Roworth and uh, Matty Pilgrim and the likes of those players, and uh, just seem to be playing a little bit better. Back in the middle, Frost and Ferguson. Both get a hand to it, goes towards Sean O'Leary, tries to break out of the pack, and then he drags it back in, then he taps it out. Frost went for the handball, then the kick, and Collins against O'Keefe. Collins on hands and knees, needs to get it out, got a high tackle, no free kick. On the point of the centre square at half back. Buckingham's going to get ripped off the footy. Oh, no talking. Bailey tried to get across there. Turnover. Connors breaks through. Handball to Matty Pilgrim. They're away now at 50. Lincoln East. And handball into Ronnie. Ronnie won't handball it. Ronnie will kick the goal. <laughs> <laughs> you read that pretty well. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he You don't have to be a scientist. Well, Ronnie, two goals. Bannock burn. What's that? 13 or 14. 13, 14. <laughs> 13 or 14-12-96, whichever way you want to look at it. And Eastern Suburbs 7, 6, 48. Ronnie Pilgrim's kicked two goals. Maybe three if we give him that other one, Laurie. But uh, he's kicked two. And he's, he's a great finisher, isn't he? He certainly is. Look, look, I think he's so, so important to to Bannockburn around that uh, engine room. He gets the ball out. He, he, he presents himself. He's been around a while now. He know, he know, you can see with the way he plays, the importance of getting the spot where you've got to receive a handball or a short kick. And uh, as, as Jason just said, he's a great finisher. As soon as that hit the boot, it was he, he, he was yep. celebrating the goal. It's only taken two and two-thirds quarters, mate, but uh, Tony Soldamark is in the ruck, so you'll be happy with that. I'm happy about Ferguson's that. Ferguson's having a rest. Sold Lamarck is in the ruck against Frost and he goes up early and gets the tap down and the second one also to Flanagan who leaves it behind. Price is there also. Got a high tackle. We'll get a free kick. Luke Price has got it now. And goes to the left boot down the corridor but it's chopped off. Robbie Giles takes the mark. Diving at centre half back. Plays on quickly. Goes wide towards Zane Carroll who can take the grab. And a uh, couple of leads on. O'Keefe's one of them. Now he goes short towards Ronnie Pilgrim. Takes the grab. 
Hasn't gained much in that distance, but uh, sets it up through the middle towards Clinton Shaw, who takes it right in the middle. Now they can switch play to Perkins. No, he goes longer towards Harding. And Aaron Broom also, who might be in the gun, he is, and he takes the mark at half forward. Now lead on towards Harding, and uh, I think they might have done that a few times in the under-18s, these two, in junior footy, but Brett Harding's got it. Lead on from Roweth. He elects no to go back. Perkins might just create something on the in the pocket. He does now. He thought about it, I think. He might still want to, but no, he's going to line it up. Brett Harding comes in and kicks into the man on the mark. Try to get a bit of extra distance. Bailey, oh, handball. Put his teammate under pressure. Buckingham, who drags it back in. Pilgrim's there also. That's Matt. Handball to Perkins, who he's... Oh. Oh, to give it to Perkins. <laughs> turns around, kicks on his left boot. Oh. Ashley Perkins. <laughs> oh, what a... His first goal. And... Uh, well, it might have been made a bit easier if they had given him the ball to him in the first place, but he might not have put it through. He put that one through for his first. And, uh, well, the 14th or 15th for Bannockburn. I'm going to go 15, 12, 102. And uh, Eastern Suburbs, 7, 6, 48. That is on the Lexus of Wyndham third quarter scoreboard. And we've been playing uh, 21 and a half minutes in this third term. The last five minutes has blown it apart, Laurie, hasn't yes, it? Yes, Eric. And I'm just going back to the young Brett's kick there. Uh, you know, I, I think in the experience there, he probably should have got it over to uh, Ashley in the first place, you know. And I think, you know, you've got to learn from those things. He's only a youngster and uh, he, he probably thought he can kick it, that uh, he couldn't quite get onto it. There's Soddle Lamac here in the middle. Clear punch away. Got it 25 metres towards the uh, half forward line. Murray can't pick it up. And Perkins now runs across him from uh, Bannockburn. Stacks on the mill. And just inside the 50 metre arc there on half forward flank, the umpire will move in and uh, take control. Ball up about uh, 48 metres from uh, the goal at the eastern suburbs kicking the southern end. A lot of players around the ball once again. Big pack. Up goes the ball. Perkins for Bannockburn gets a clear tap away. Uh, Ronnie Pilgrim can't run onto it. The ball's in dispute. Ball thrown out there from Eastern Suburbs, but well intercepted by Pilgrim. Great handball to uh, Carroll as he runs. Now he goes toward half four. The lead's on from... Uh, that was uh, Rowers. Magnificent oh. kick and a magnificent handball to Lincoln East. And if that's a goal, it's a magnificent passage of play. Lincoln East... Uh, uh, well, it's just touched the inside of the post. No, hang on. It's interesting. Yes. Yeah, there's, a, there's an impediment. The... the uh, well, the padding around the post, you can see from here, it's quite, you know, uh, clearly a bit of movement there. So it's hit the inside of the post. Behind is the uh, the score. And uh, if we go with the scoreboard, 15, 13, 103. Even though we've only got 14 goal kickers. Well, now they've got 16 goals on the scoreboard, so oh. they might try and get another one now. Well, I think they've probably just put that up as a goal. Because, they have. Uh, well, Murray's got it at centre-half back for Eastern Suburbs and he kicks it long to centre-half forward and Sean Flanagan can pick it up. Yes, he can. Go on the left boot towards full forward. Williams getting across there. Hewitt as well. Just wants to stay to the bench line. Taps it back. Ferguson's there. Della Hunt comes in also. And Ferguson over the top of the footy. Needs some help. Doesn't get a lot. And Bannockburn back towards centre-half back. Frost goes up. Can't take the mark. Good recovery by the big man though. Goes with the right boot wide towards Pilgrim. Pilgrim. Can get around on the left and get it towards Zane Carroll, who's free. Doesn't take the mark. We've got a bit of time. Runs away from Price. Gets his right foot kick long towards the uh, forward pocket position. Andrews coming out. Rundle also. Can they keep it in? Rundle on hands and knees. Ralph in there also. McCormack. The umpire will come in and he'll bounce it in the right forward pocket for Bannockburn. And, uh, well, don't know about this scoreboard here. <laughs> we might go with you, Eric. You might be right. <laughs> well... Thrown up now. Sold Lamarcky goes up. Coming through is Lynch. And also getting in there, McCormack. Kick around the corner into the goal square. East tries to tap it to the front. Great play. Oh, Roweth went for goal, but touched. And through for one behind. So that's uh, another behind to Bannockburn there. 14-14-98, says Eric. And they lead Eastern Suburbs 7-6-48. Lucky it's not a close game. Yes, might be interesting, mightn't it? Three, three quarter time AFL. Richmond, good comeback here, 11 5. Just trailed the Bulldogs 12 9. And Kangaroos 14 12. St Kilda have come back 11 7. Mm. Ball back in here. Now Harding gives it to Connors. Handball over Pilgrim. Pilgrim with the right foot. That's Matt. And he goes through for one behind Matt Pilgrim. His kick. And a 14 15 99 now. Bannockburn. Eastern Suburbs 7 6 48. Lexus of Wyndham, third quarter scoreboard, 25 minutes gone. Do you count kick-ins as possessions, Laurie? Yes. McCormack's had 15 of them. 
goes in. Oh, not, not, not a good one on that occasion, though. Found Rick Harding, who gets it in towards centre-half forward. Kevin Connors floats across, takes the grab uncontested. I think the wrong bloke got the mark. Yep. Matty was a yard behind him. So, uh, Ronnie, I should say, yep. Ronnie Pilgrim. <laughs> so Kevin Connors has got it. He'll be kicking from 45, nearly 50, so might struggle for distance here. He goes in. It's going to land in the goal square, or Andrew's just pushed in the back. McCormack, but it will be a, uh, a mark. Umpire Beattie goes over to make sure the goal umpire says, was it a mark? Oh, it's comedy capers up there into the ground, isn't it? What's going on? The mark has been paid now to Sean Rundle. He plays on quickly from fullback. Goes towards the halfback flank. Murray. Ooh, nearly goes into the fencing. Slides out. Brett Harding against him there. Sees it over the boundary line for a throw at half forward. And uh, left half forward flank now for the Bannockburn side. Boundary throw in. Frost. Get it down, only as far as Sol here who can't take it with him. O'Keefe tries to bustle it out. Flanagan, that's Sean, only as far as Brett Harding. Gets a kick just as he gets his tackle. It gets tackled. Pilgrim comes through. Bailey also kept his feet, then lost them. Handball out the back. Oh, Collins dangerously off the ground, but it could be okay if it sits in. It doesn't for McCormack and Rundle. They have to see it over the line, 20 metres out from the Bannockburn goal. So we've been playing 26 and a half minutes. Boundary throwing again. This boundary umpire, the ball's folding this afternoon. He's done a lot. Throws it in again. Off hands to the side of the pack. Sheehan can pick it up and run away on the left boot. Just kicks it to the wide open spaces. Now it's a foot race. Pavic will win it. Whether it sits for him is another thing. Price kicks off the ground. He'll have to go with a foot race of Matty Pilgrim. Now who's going to get there first? Price, just a little toe poke again. Sees it towards the boundary line. Does well. It is out of bounds. On centre wing on the outer side. And he was up against a couple there in the end. Luke Price. So good enough to see it over the boundary line. Probably the value there, young Price kept his feet. Yes, Eric, and uh, just Matty uh, Pilgrim made a bit of something out of that too. You know, he put his body in there. He's got to get those little pistons pumping along, doesn't he? <laughs> Sold Lamarck here, gets it down to the side of the pack, kick off the ground once again. This time by Hunter. Goes to the back of the pack, Hewitt. Slick little handball, slick enough for East to miss it. And it is out of bounce off hands at half forward on the other side for Eastern Suburbs. They trail 7-4 to uh, a range of scores. 14-15, 15-15, 16-14. They're about 100 anyway. And goes up in the... Oh, Pilgrim, oh. clever tap. That was Ron to Brother Matt. Handball to Pavic, standing start. Back to Brother Matt. He goes from centre wing. Short little kick to uh, O'Keefe. And now from half forward. Goes back into the corridor at centre half forward. Andrews up. Good strong mark. The drainer. Ominous signs here, Laurie, isn't it? Yes, uh, uh, Bannockburn here. They're looking pretty good. He goes short, fills oh, the hole to Connors. Oh, Poor no. kick, chops is under pressure. Handball over the top. And, and Williams, back in defence by the looks of it. Holds it up. Rick Harding's there as well. Or gets it out and some, somehow. Andrews, umpire lets it go. Still there, Clinton short. Now the umpire will come in and bounce it. Well, McCormack comes over and remonstrates with the umpire. Yeah, he was a bit uh, concerned about that, that mark. He must have thought he got his hand in there and uh, he, he sort of wasn't very happy with the umpire at that stage. Well, he got it somehow. Sean Flanagan did. Got it to McCormack, who got it on to Troy Sheehan. Kicks it back towards half forward. Matty Pilgrim at 50. Handball inboard. Oh, Sean Flanagan gets across. Able to pick it up and go with the left boot back to Delamonica. He can settle things down at half back and clear for the Eagles. Hasn't got much to kick though, Delamont. Uh, up further up the ground. There's a lead from almost full forward from uh, Stevenson. The ball's come to ground at centre half forward. But uh, Bannockburn through Perkins. Long left hand punch to Ronnie Pilgrim. On the left foot, Ronnie Pilgrim to O'Keefe in good position. Takes the mark behind his opponent on that occasion. And, uh, well, rather fancies his chances. He's a good 50 odd metres out from goal. There's a lead from uh, uh, Andrews, but the kick is absolutely shocking. Gave Andrews no chance. And uh, now, the Eastern Suburbs player, well, that's another shocking kick from Buckingham. I don't know, I think he was looking for the safety of the boundary and uh, out of bounds on the fall. I think Shane Andrews might have reminded him how good a kick it was as he's going back there too. <laughs> Eric, so, Eric, have you ever seen so many kick outs on the fall? No, terrible. O'Keefe it is again, drives the ball back into the corridor at centre half forward. Man in front can't take the mark, good defence, Eastern Suburbs, Salta Lamakia runs a good 10 metres, drives it back to the centre of the ground, in front there was a Stevens that can't take the mark, comes down to Ferguson, handball cleared, Delamonica, no, no it wasn't on that occasion, it was Collins, ball, well, here's great defence, Bannockburn, uh, well, a comedy of errors again, this uh, 
Comes to Perkins finally, turns on the left foot. He's kicked the ball straight back to uh, the Eastern Suburbs players in the centre of the ground and it's Lynch takes the mark. He's got a player loose on half forward and it's Murray takes the mark for Eastern Suburbs. Murray now sees the lead further up. It's come to him from Stevenson and, uh, well, umpire's paid the mark, but uh, goodness gracious, I wish, I wish these fellas around when I played, Laurie. I'd, I'd have got a lot more kicks, I think. So uh, Stevenson has taken the mark. The uh, player on the mark, Giles, is about 50 out, a long way from goal. And, uh, well, Stevenson's gone for uh, Sean O'Leary, who was leading toward the pocket, and uh, nobody got near the ball. It's run over the boundary line. It's uh, 30 minutes gone, third quarter, depending on who you listen to. 14-15, I've got Bannockburn, Eastern Suburbs 7-6, and that will be sorted out very shortly, hopefully, by the goal umpires from the throw-in. Away go Bannockburn again. Ball kicked uh, wide, Pavic on the centre wing. Oh. Well, a pretty high tackle, I would have thought. And now, uh, well, if the umpire is fair, then it can be played on, but uh, not the case. And uh, go back from, uh, well, he's going to kick from four, about 52 metres when he finally kicked the ball. But uh, yeah, great that's... mark in defence, young Broom, it no, was. No, it's been paid uh, against, she yeah, shepherding, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. Against Bannockburn, I think it might have been. Uh, yeah, that's well picked up. I, Steve I Delahunt there, watching the flight of the ball coming into the contest, and the uh, man in front took the mark in Broome, but uh, the free kick is gone. I think is that uh, Flanagan? It is Flanagan of Eastern Suburbs now. 20 metres out, he's uh, put the ball on the right foot, and it's put it right over the goal umpire's head. Head has he not? And uh, so that's a goal to Sean Flanagan, and first goal, would you believe, in the third quarter to Eastern Suburbs? 31 and a half minutes gone. Lexus of Wyndham scoreboard 14 15 99 Bannockburn 8 6 54 Eastern Suburbs. Well, back in the middle, pretty close to siren time, I think. Yeah, and that was a very needed goal, wasn't it? To, you know, I'll say, the, yeah. the, the game had just blown open, hadn't yeah. it? So back in the middle, Soldler Mark Air up against Frost. He's rucked unchanged this afternoon for Bannockburn. Soldler Mark Air goes up early. Rove beautifully. Lincoln East or breaks a couple of tackles. Gets a right foot kick. Down the middle, Andrews. McCormack goes through. Sets her hands. Roweth over the top as well. Sean Rundle there. And getting in there fighting hard, McCormack. And uh, there is the siren for three-quarter time. So uh, at three-quarter time, Eastern Suburbs. 8 6 54 with that one goal. They kick one goal four in that third term. They trail Bannockburn who are anything from 14 goals, 14.98, to 16 goals, 14.00. I think we can probably rob that one out. But they're either 14.15 or 15.15, aren't they, Eric? They we are. think. They are. We're going with 14.15.99. <laughs> We're going with the expert. We're going with the accurate one. 14.15.99, Bannockburn, Eastern Suburbs, uh, 8.654. And at three-quarter time, the goal kickers, three, eight, three goals to Shane Andrews, two each to Darren Roweth, to Ron Pilgrim, also to Corey Flanagan and Brett Harding. Singles. To Lincoln East, Clinton Shaw and Ashley Perkins. While for Eastern Suburbs, three goals to Morris Stevenson, two to David Peters. And six.